Welcome world, welcome YouTube, welcome everybody out there watching this video at this particular moment. Again, as usual, it's Hassan Balix from Digitalpreneurs, where we empower you with tools to help you succeed in your business online. All right. So today we are back with another good one where we are going to be talking about the best online marketing process that a lot of entrepreneurs are using out there. This marketing process is quite lean and will help you uh, to deal with the overwhelm uh, of uh, running an online business. It will, it will take away all the useless things that you don't need to be doing. Yeah, It will help you to focus on only what works to generate much more income while doing less work with your online business yeah now the way this process works it doesn't matter whether you have an e-commerce store or you're running a a consulting business or you're you're a dentist and you are, uh, you're doing a uh, business online uh whether you're a doctor whichever business you're in we have found that you can always customize uh this process to make sure that it works for you. The beauty with this process, it only has three parts that you need to focus on. It has been streamlined, uh, streamlined to only three parts that you need to focus on. So you can scrap away all the other things that do not add to your uh, profitability. All right. So the three parts are essentially attraction and lead generation, uh, providing the value that uh, that you promise and then servicing the client okay so i'm going to take you uh, through each of these parts very fast in this video so that you can quickly implement this in your business and then later on you can tell me how it is working out for you okay so let's get into it so the first thing we need to talk about if you want to run a successful uh, business online is you have to up your game when it comes to uh, getting attention. Yeah. So uh, when um, if you go online, let us say you go on uh, Facebook, you go on YouTube, you'll find that uh, everyone is fighting to get your attention. Now, if you go on uh, social media to just scroll, you are burning your own time. Why don't you use these platforms to also grab uh, a potential client's attention? and then convert them to a client. So the first thing you are going to need to do in this particular process is to make sure that you are grabbing the attention of your potential clients. There are three ways to do this, okay? There are three ways to do this. Number one is through social media where you can go and put out organic content, yeah? You can put out, uh, create content. It could be videos. It could be, it could be, uh, maybe a, a short article, just share uh, on social media, could be TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn. And then uh, when people like what you post, then you can ask them to come to your business. However, we shall take you through the process of how you get them from social media to now into your business, okay? The other way that you can get attention is using uh, YouTube. YouTube has now become a very uh, good a platform that you can use to capture uh, people's attention, okay? Using very uh, quality and um, high value videos, okay? Then the other way that you can capture attention is using paid ads. Now, the paid ads could be on social media platforms. They could be uh, Google ads. Uh, you could uh, check out AdRoll and so many other platforms where you can run paid ads okay so just make sure that your paid ads again emphasize the value that you are going to give the potential customer it's not about your business it's about the value that you are going to give the potential customer okay so i hope we are uh, together up to that point so after capturing people's attention now you move on to uh, what we call collecting leads now in this day and age it is so important that uh, you always get your users or customers information. Right now, uh, if you're not collecting information, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. So how do we do this? Now, uh, the best way is to offer what are called lead 
magnets yeah so uh lead magnets is a terminology that we use in this industry uh to mean uh, something of value that you can give someone so that they then give you their information their information being uh, uh their email address most importantly and then uh, their name and sometimes also their phone numbers okay so uh a lead magnet is something that you could design. It could be like a design of a PDF. It could be an ebook. It could be a, a, a free video that uh, a free uh, high value video that they could watch. So you design something to tell them about uh, that this particular video. Let us say a uh, uh, hundred and ten ways you can use uh, to to outsmart your competition for example yeah and then you put together a downloadable pdf uh, a video which they can watch so you create artwork for that downloadable pdf and then uh, you present that uh, maybe on your social media or your, your landing page and then uh, beside that lead magnet you have a form which they can fill in to get that pdf yeah so always collect uh, user data so that uh, this is the data that you can use later on to reach out to your potential client. So that's what we mean by collecting leads. That's what we mean by collecting leads. And it's one of the most important steps in this particular framework. If you're not collecting leads, you're losing out on a lot of money. Once you have collected leads, the other very important step in this process is immediately delivering on the value that you promised if you do you know like this helps with uh with number one building trust in the brand and then number two it helps with uh building your authority as the preferred supplier of uh the said services yeah so imagine if you have uh imagine you've put together uh let us say an uh, a report on the best ways uh, to outsmart uh, competition, for example, and then someone downloads that with your brand, uh, with your branding, it's a beautiful PDF with your branding all over it. So as someone goes through that and gets value from that PDF, they will begin to consider you as the authority uh, when it comes to outsmarting competition, marketing, sales, and stuff like that. All right. So I hope you get my point when it comes to immediately delivering the value, delivering the value. Okay. Uh, of the uh, of the said promise. If you promise someone to give them a video and then they give you their email address and, and name and then they don't get the video, then uh, you lose trust. Uh, you, you lose that trust. Yeah. And then they will feel so bad that the transaction wasn't completed. While they gave you their information, you never fulfilled your end of the bargain. So always make sure that you instantly give them whatever it is that you promised them. Now, uh, it is after giving them this promised value that you can later follow up and then begin to give them your offer. Always remember to present your offer. Just giving free value is will not build your business. Yeah, you have you have expenses, you have bills to pay. So always present them your paid offer. Uh, now, there are two ways of doing this. There are two ways of doing this. So you can you uh, what you could do is um present them with your paid offer uh when they get when they watch the when they get the value that you promised them, or you could present them with an opportunity to talk to you, okay? So they can schedule uh, a, consult, a, a free consultation with you where you eventually uh, uh, present uh, your paid offer, okay? So we have found that uh, doing a consultation call, a free consultation call, and then uh, presenting the offer, it uh, works much better than presenting the offer within, let us say, the video they are watching. So uh, in most cases, they could watch the video and then after watching the video, they move on. But when you still give them a free consultation where they can still reach out and then you help them maybe uh, try to figure out where the, the, uh, the missing link is, works much better because after helping them uh, identify the missing link, it's very easy for you to then present them the paid offer 
of your services or your product. Okay? So, uh, that system works uh, much perfectly in that sense. Okay? Now, a bonus feature that you could add on is, is where I use a segmented follow-up system. Uh, now you see why collecting the information comes in handy. Once you have this information, then you can uh, uh, segment your lists based on be, uh, purchase behavior, uh, based on their interaction with, uh, with your content, uh, based on their customer journey, yeah, uh, based on so many different things, depending on what your, let us say, your email uh, responder allows you to do. So you can use uh, a segmented follow-up system just to make sure that you are serving them even more, uh, you are giving them even more, um, even more value and even upselling them on your other products or services, okay? So uh, this system, lean as it is, it will help you, first of all, to, to deal out with overwhelm and then it will help you get maximum productivity out of your online system uh, while doing less work, okay? Now, for a quick example, let me show you uh, how our process here at Digital Preneurs works. Um, this will be based on a, a campaign that uh, we ran recently, yeah? So if you look at our marketing process, you'll find that for uh, just like I've said, we start with uh, attracting leads, yeah? So, like I said, you go on uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and then attract leads. So, uh, especially here at Digitalpreneurs, we mostly, we mostly focus on YouTube, yeah? Uh, YouTube has brought us the most results. You can test uh, for your business and then see what works okay then uh, from there we take them to a landing page uh, which has an opt-in form uh, and uh, at that point we were the, uh, the campaign we were running was growing your e-commerce business using emails yeah so that's the campaign we were running at that moment in time then after doing that we then uh, after they opt in we then uh, send them to watch that video which talks about uh, growing their e-commerce business using email uh, marketing, yeah? So then after that, we then offer them, after they've watched the video, we offer, the, uh, we offer them a, a free call for a consultation. Now on this consultation is where we, we worked with them to figure out what gaps they had in their online business. So whether they... Uh, they were not maybe uh, doing their campaigns effectively or maybe their pricing or their email marketing was off or their social media was off. Yeah, so we did. Uh, this is where we found out what the gap was. Then after identifying the gap, uh, we then made our offer to either provide a uh, uh, web design services, uh, e-commerce shop services, social media, email marketing solutions, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Also, uh, after if someone uh, decided not to take us up on our free consultative call, or or they did take us up on our uh, services, we then continue to retarget them. Uh, with our email retargeting uh, software. So we sent them uh, campaigns, uh, articles, uh, helpful articles, um, uh, also with our other offers, upsells and downsells, yeah? So that is why when you come here at this opt-in area, this is one of the most important uh, uh, areas when it comes to your marketing process. You must always uh, ask for people's user information. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you've got the best out of it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share, share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel as we release more of this type of content uh, regularly. Until next time, it's Hassan Baliks saying Atsa La Vista. Bye-bye.